Okay, so uh, next up, we have kind of the flip side of, uh, of another workflow tool. Um, we're going to have a presentation about Pipeline Pilot by Salard Dorant. Um, Salard is actually w the first uh, real employee of, of Chem Axon. And um, he's, been, he's been with the company for, for a very, very long time. But um, most recently, he's working out of San Diego, California. That's actually my hometown, uh, if you can't tell my, my accent. And uh, uh, he, Salard has been doing consulting out there. And um, he's going to talk to us again about the integration of the new features that we've got coming this year, or uh, have come this year, uh, in Pipeline Pilot. Let's talk about the latest uh, on the front of uh, Pipeline Pilot integration of uh, Camaxon products. Um, here are some uh, basic facts uh, of the component uh, collection we provide. Uh, I would like to highlight that uh, this is uh, developed and uh, supported by Camaxon. So, however, uh, the parent company merges of the uh, pipeline pilot producers, uh, it doesn't really affect uh, the uh, support and development of this uh, component collection. And also, uh, it's freely uh, downloadable from our website and open source sources are included. Uh, the latest version will be 1.7, uh, hopefully uh, in a week or two. It's planned to release in, in May, this May. And from this version, we will require uh, Jacob and Marvin versions 5.2.5, uh, which is uh, quite backward compatible. And for the first time, uh, Pipeline Pilot 7.5, which I think is pretty widespread now everywhere. Uh, here are two slides about the available functionality I will not go uh, into detail. Uh, most of our uh, important tools are already uh, supported uh, as uh, pipeline pilot components. Um, here's a brief uh, look uh, at the uh, release history, the, the major uh, changes. Um, but what's clearly visible uh, here that we have uh, about uh, two major releases uh, every year, and usually uh, with new components or even uh, other components uh, upgraded. Uh, the conformer generation component appeared in version 1.6. This was the previous release. Uh, it was about uh, last August. Um, it's capable to generate uh, multiple conformers of the structure, or only the lowest energy conformer. And it has all the options, basically, which are otherwise uh, available from Marvin, um, including the number of conformers. Uh, when the, uh, with multiple conformers, uh, the diver diversity limit uh, can be set, uh, time limit, uh, generated with explicit hydrogens, and probably very important that the energy uh, of these conformers is also displayed, and it can be displayed in uh, kilocalories or kilojoules. Let me show a quick example. This example is, uh, by the way, included uh, in the component collection. So for most uh, components, we have this uh, nice little examples, and you can see that here are the components, uh, conformers of the structures, and the energy values are displayed as well. The only thing I don't personally like in this output is maybe the uh, rendering. This is still done by the standard pipeline pilot uh, uh, rendering. So I was thinking that maybe we should do something about uh, this. So um, we have, oh, sorry. So we've uh, introduced uh, the uh, the image generation component. Uh, so with this new component, uh, 
from version 1.7, uh, it will be uh, uh, accessible. Uh, Camoxon uh, image generation will be accessible with a lot of uh, features, a lot of options. The image uh, formats so far supported are uh, PNG, BMP, and JPEG, but uh, some other uh, formats can be added later, which are supported uh, by Camoxon, including uh, EMF and uh, PPT. And let me show an example of this in a simplest form. We are just generating a couple of images uh, from Azinex structures. We also generate some 3D conformers on the way to see how 3D structures display. And then still using the old molecular viewer. Let's take a look at the results. So as you can see, on the left-hand side, you can see the pipeline pilot uh, generated uh, pictures. On the right-hand side, the Camoxon image is just an, an object, uh, another um, property uh, for the data records in this case, but uh, automatically recognized by this uh, reporting component of pipeline pilot. And you can see, for example, that for 3D images, we are capable to automatically adjust a little bit uh, the mode of display. This can also be uh, changed as an option. And so for example, uh, just one of the things, uh, what do you guess, uh, what we get if we mix uh, red and green? and no blue as an RGB value. In this case, it should produce a nice yellow background. It's one of the about 20 options which can be tweaked for display. But these are still quite static images and just showing up as duplicate in the pipeline pilot reporting component. So why not put these images into a molecular spreadsheet? So if I run this uh, demo protocol, then first it looks like just a standard pipeline pilot uh, HTML molecular spreadsheet. But uh, with a difference, because if I go on over these pictures, you can see there's a link here, and clicking on the link uh, brings up a Marvin applet, a Marvin view. And here you can see the structure in an interactive way. And the size of this uh, applet is uh, separately configurable uh, from the original uh, picture size. But of course, also for the original picture, you can choose to display a Camaxon generated image. So why, why is there an option? Now the, these images are Camaxon generated. Um, why, why did I uh, left the possibility to choose between the two image generation? There is uh, one possible drawback um, when processing a large number of structures for display with these uh, generated images. And uh, the little bit of drawback is that all these images has to be generated and stored while the pipeline is running. So it can be a little bit of overhead while uh, the pipeline pilot uh, image generation can use some internal tricks. And as an option, it's also possible to if, if the clients are not uh, Java capable, to pop up a bigger picture instead of an applet. And actually, in case of the Camoxon generated uh, initial pictures, the pop up is a real pop up, not a, another uh, window. You do not have to use the back button. And if I click on this picture, it's also possible to 
open uh, the output as a structure file. So in this case, it uh, appeared in a Marvin view. And so this little molecule went a long way. And very quickly, as uh, running out of time, sorry about that. Um, we also made uh, some improvement uh, to the JCAM search uh, component. And uh, it uh, enables, uh, with MRV uh, structure output, the coloring of hits. And for any kind of output, uh, even standard pipeline pilot uh, uh, image generation or, or display, the alignment of hits, uh, either rotating or partial clean. Uh, quite interesting might be the flow through mode. Uh, previously, we've only returned uh, a generated hit list for all queries. Now the query records can flow through uh, the JCAM search component, and the, the matched ones uh, go to the uh, passport and the failed ones to, to the fail port. Uh, so it's kind of like a filter. And we can also fetch uh, some database fields from the JCAM based structure table. And some search options are renamed to, to follow the new uh, terminology uh, in our software tools. And well, a duplicate search option was quite strangely missing. That was uh, also added. Uh, just a very, very quick example of how this is working together with the new display component. If I run this protocol, the uh, hits will uh, appear uh, colored and aligned according to the query structure. Uh, actually, this for the initial picture, it was a pipeline pilot generation. So you can see um, that the chlorine benzene was the query. And if I just So actually now comes the output I really wanted to show. So here you can see that all the structures are nicely aligned and colored, even the initial output, uh, according to the heat of the search. Um, plan development, this is really just uh, guidelines. Uh, we are really uh, open to any suggestions and uh, requests. We are really developing uh, what is most, more, most important for you and, and uh, most urgent for you. So that's all. Um, thank you. OK, great. Thank you.